Hi and welcome back. Today I have an abstract art journal page with that color scheme you picked in one of my stories where I asked you to pick one and I'm using my Inktense blocks today to start my page. The journal I am working in is the Moleskin watercolor journal. I haven't been using these blocks for a while, just recently I started to try them out as the first layer in my art journal and I really like their, their shape because they give me a lot of pigment and it does not take a lot of time to lay down color. I think I would not rebuy these again because they are pretty similar to their pencils and I prefer the pencils as you can do more with a pencil compared to that kind of crayon. I also like to use these pencils for coloring in stamped images for example or for mark making. Here I'm testing out which blue I want to use for my spread. As I didn't have the exact blue that I wanted to use, I'm just mixing um, the colors together. That's also pretty nice that you can mix the dry blocks on your paper and then when you activate them with water you get a really nice variety of pigments. Um, that's also great about the pencils. I have used the pencils also to create the first layer on a spread and I usually use um, different tones from one color and lay them down and that gives me a really interesting mixture when I activate it with water. And here you can see how intense these colors are when you go in with water. I always try to keep some areas more light and some more intense. If I have a variety then the final piece looks more interesting. I also started with the warm tones um, and then I play with the cool ones. I don't mix this up because the cool and the warm colors can create mud depending on which color you are using. So if I mix the blue with the orange I might get a muddy color and that avoids it a little bit when you just start with one color family, the warms or the cools and then do the others and play carefully with mixing.
And here you can see how interesting the results are when you lay down different pigments of the same color family. I decided to add some splatters to give it more texture and interest and more vibrancy. I believe I let this page dry, maybe due um, time that I didn't have time to keep on working um, because my light was changing. So I believe the first layer I did in the morning and this might be in the evening. It's a while that I've recorded that spread. Yes, my page is completely dry because I just scribble with the Durban Inktense pencils over some areas. I want to intensify some of them. And here I'm using a blue color. Now I come back in again with water in the brush and I will mix this up. I'm going in with the pencil again into the wet area and make some scribbly lines. Sometimes I'm dipping the nib of the pencil into my water to get more pigment onto the page. I really love to make these scribbly marks. I try to keep my hand loose and not tight so I get some random marks and they should be out of control that makes it look more natural. Here I changed color. I believe the one that I'm using here is almost a black. I will now let this dry completely and then I come back with some collage papers. I posted a collage paper video recently on my channel and I will 
link this up in the end cards. Here I'm just experimenting with different shapes and colors and I see if I like something or if I don't like something and that's a really fun part I feel. You can experiment, you can lay down paper, you can change colors and nothing is done. So you don't glue them down, you just lay them onto your page and that makes it really easy to experiment because you can't ruin anything. I tend to use papers that have similar colors um, that I've already on the background and here I picked that blue paper. It is a jelly print and I will also glue it into the blue area. I feel that makes look everything cohesive. I would not stick that onto an orange area for example. I wanted to use the papers with the black marks, but I feel they don't fit my page. I really like the orange of this print. It's also a jelly print I did on some rice paper. And the stamp I've used is the rainbow from the pencil marks number three. Talking about stamps, I want to give you a quick update. I will keep the store open until December 19th. That means that all the orders that are coming in until then will ship out before Christmas and all other orders will start shipping. I believe it's January 8th. It's when our Christmas holidays are over here in Germany and I also will have a brand new release in January. I have no date at the moment, but it will be in the first two weeks. Make sure to check out my Instagram page. I have already started sharing some sneak peeks of the new stamps. I try to combine rough edges and sharp edges, so sometimes I'm tearing my paper and sometimes I cut it with a scissors.
I'm happy with the second layer with the collage papers and now I'm playing with some acrylic paints. I enjoy creating layer over layer because it gives me a lot of depth and interest and I also love the playful process. I'm always trying out a lot of painting styles and technique because I adore so many things but the one I always come back is mixed media because of that playfulness and it's really awesome. I also took a lot of classes over on Domestica that are specialized on certain themes just like watercolor painting, acrylic painting, illustration and it's really interesting and I believe I learned a lot through these classes. They are high quality, that's what I like about them. Um, you know what you're getting. Um, every class is filmed by Domestica which means you will have excellent quality of, of voice and light. Unfortunately, a lot of my favorite classes are only available in Spanish and they have a German and also English um, writing underneath so you can follow along but I would prefer if everything would have an English audio. Some of their favorite classes are already translated so you can switch the audio which I really adore especially the classes from Adolfo Serra who is one of my favorite illustrators. They have a Cyber Week sale going on at the moment and I will give you a link to some of the classes or the bundles that I took and that I enjoyed. I'm mixing up the blue with some water because I want to create some splatters. I let this dry completely and here I'm back with some texture stamps. Um, this is one from the Pencil Marks stamp set and I just stamp with a blue ink onto the blue areas just to give them a hint of texture. I also wanted to create kind of a focal image and I'm using a stamp for this. I'm using one stamp from the Inky Flowers stamp set and it's always a bit tricky to stamp directly into your art journal because if you mess it up then you messed it up. But this journal as I'm working on the right side there is nothing going on underneath. It's super flat and it has an excellent surface for stamping. 
I took out my Neo Color crayons to make some scribbly marks onto my page. This is also a step that I love. It's so playful and fun and it's just sometimes I maybe overdo it, but I don't mind that because I like the process so much. And I think that is what it's all about. It's about the process, about making art and about coming into that flow that relaxes you and that takes you away from your daily life. I will now color in my leaf shape with the white Uniposca marker to make it pop up from the page. And I will speed up this step a little bit as it takes a bit of time. I think my Posca pen was empty and I grabbed a new one and I will also make some dots all over the page, well not all over the page but in certain areas and I will add a second layer of the white marker onto my leaves. To finish up the page, I decided to add a quote. I'm using a blue Posca paint pen. It's a brand new one. It's kind of a turquoisey blue. And I'm just writing my sentiment um, to this bottom area. If you are not sure or feel not comfortable in writing directly onto your page, you can just use a pastel pencil and 
write your sentiment and that can be erased afterwards. And that was my page for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you a wonderful weekend. Bye!